Barbara Borkart, and we're back in the studio. And after I did the series of horses that seemed to be moving in the lithographs and the colored lithographs, um, I decided I had um, an image in my mind. I had gone to a zoo overseas and seen a peacock who actually came up to me, ate out of my hand, and then proceeded to fly onto a stone wall and clean himself and open his feathers really large. Not the way you usually see them, like um, for the NBC News Peacock where it goes in back of them. This was sort of flipped over and changing. It looked like a fan being shown in the reverse on the other side. So I decided I would do a sequence small painting. Now this is a little different. This is on paper and the paper has been sealed and it is oil paint and pastel on paper. And as you can see, this is the underneath bottom part. We have the texture of the stone wall. We have the peacock all sort of scrunched up on the lid, or not the lid, on the edge of the wall over here. This is sequence number one. This is sequence number two. And this is the most worked on. This is the least, well, this is the next um, sequence over. The wall isn't as distinct and the bird's feathers, instead of being puffed up so much this way, probably will squash itself down, but they are shorter and they will come up this way. This is the third sequence. The brick wall is in and the bird has twisted himself around and his feathers are splayed out and they're starting to separate. And the last one, which I'm going to do today, is um, the image of the peacock with his feathers all upside down like a big fan on top of him. Not in back of him, but over his head. He is bending over, cleaning his feathers this way. The wall has dropped down, which you can see this is the highest wall. Then it gets lower, a little bit lower. This is definitely lower so that you can see the image of the feathers opening up. It looks like a beautiful fan going back. So we'll see what happens today. This is exciting. I like to do things in sequence. It's probably from playing with the video camera and seeing how things move from one thing to another. And I tend to think in sequence, so we'll see what happens here. This is how the work has progressed so far. You can see there are four images. The first image in the upper left-hand corner is the peacock sort of tightly pulled together, just starting to turn around and pluck his feathers. In the second image, which is the upper right, the bird is puffing up his feathers. You're seeing the negative spaces between the um, feathers. And he's changing his shape. He was sort of long and narrow in the first shape. The second shape, he's getting rounder. In the third image, which is on the lower left-hand side, the feathers have come up. This is, these are not finished yet, but this is an idea of the structure of the area of the feathers. You can see through the feathers to the weeds in back of it, to the grass in back of it, to um, part of the post, and the feathers are turned upside down. And then the final image, we can really not see the peacock at all. You see the post, and the wall and the foliage in back and you start to see a few wisps of the feathers turned out and it's sort of like an upside down fan. It starts to get really beautiful in there. Um, I'll be working some more on this and give you um, a little more information when I have worked a little more on it.